The first little piece in this suite is called Hedwig's Flight, and people who know the book and the film will know that Hedwig is that wonderfully beautiful white owl. So he, Hedwig needed some music that was gossamer, light, and so I thought, Celeste, which is the little keyboard instrument, it's like a mini piano, and each note on it, you play it like a piano, but each note is kind of like a bell. And it has a pedal like a piano, so if you play five quick notes and put the pedal on, you get this beautiful little blur. It's kind of like a, a bird feather that just would float. <laughs> There's a three-headed dog who guards a, 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 cha a secret chamber. And of course, we, when he's awake, nobody can get past the sleeping dog. The dog is called Fluffy, incidentally. And there's a magic harp that kept Fluffy asleep. And as long as the harp music was playing, we were safe to go into the chamber because the guard dog, the three-headed guard dog, would be asleep. Hence, the music of the magic harp played by the harp itself, of course. And Fluffy, the three-headed guard dog, who's big and, and threatening and ominous, characterized by the contrabassoon, which has the lowest pitches of all the orchestra, and putting these two unlikely instruments together in a, in a sort of somnambulant duet. There's a game that the, that the houses of the school compete in each year called Quidditch, with towers of flags and all this atmosphere of crowd and celebration. So for music, nothing's better to characterize all of this than the herald trumpets and the brass section of the orchestra, which brings all the, 
all the heraldry and the color of this kind of celebration and contest. Diagon Alley is the place in the story where the wizards go. Harry Potter goes to Diagon Alley with his mentor, Hagrid, who takes him there to equip him, to get him his equipment for, for his life as a wizard. And particularly, he has to pick out his magic wand and get his broomstick, his Nimbus 2000. And you see other wizards buying the magic potions and getting their witches' hats and all their gear in this fantastic... Uh, cornucopia, if you like, of, of, of color and activity and sights and sounds. Well, I thought right away of forming a little small wizard's orchestra, if you like, uh, to portray what just I imagined would be the musical part of this melange or collection of sounds that, that make up the atmosphere that you can almost taste. collection of themes, musical themes, that, that 
the wonderful opportunity of the book and the film gave me to, to write. And at the end of the film, I was able to put several of these together in a kind of, not a suite exactly, but an orchestrated finale where all the themes from the picture, many of them were brought together in, in, a, in a kind of medley at the end of the film. And I just call that Harry's wondrous world.